Welcome to this video. We are going to learn how to use rubrics in PowerSchool's Class Pages system. Uh, we'll see how to create a rubric, how to grade with a rubric, how to make sure students can see and access the rubric, and then we'll go look at what students are able to actually see. We'll log in with a student account and check out their uh, graded work. So first, click on your name in the bottom left corner, then click Settings. Next, click on My Rubrics. If you have any existing rubrics, they will show up here on the left side, and then whatever is first in your list will automatically load. Let's click on Add a Rubric to create a new rubric. Points-based is what I'm going to use. If you don't want qualitative numeric scoring, you can choose this option. I'll click Continue. I enter a title. Motion Graph Lab. If you'd like, you can choose, uh, you know, the grades that's, you know, where this rubric will be used. You can choose your subject. You can add a description, then click Continue. Okay, across the top, I've got the different levels of achievement. I can click any blue text to edit it. So maybe I have uh, does not meet meets and exceeds. You can assign point values by clicking on the numbers and typing in the value you would like. And if you want to create extra levels, like maybe I want level four uh, achievement level and a fifth achievement level, you click this button, add a level, and there it is. To delete, you hover over the level and you click the trash can. And then you click OK. Hover over the level, click the trash can. If we scroll to the left, we can click here on Criterion Title to add the first title. Um, perhaps this is Background Section. And the next title might be Hypothesis or Method and so forth. The title will appear in... there's th So when you view the rubric and when you grade, there is both the full view and then there's also a sort of abridged view or condensed view where you only see the title. So it's nice to have good descriptive titles. But then here you can click into description to provide more detail. As soon as you finish, you can click away onto another part of the page. And now here's my text, my description. For does not meet, I can click in the box and describe what student work might look like, which earns a one. You're finished with this it might look something like what I've got here now I'm just putting these in so if you're a science teacher you might find flaws and there probably are some uh, okay now I want to add additional things students won't just perform data analysis they will also write an evaluation and draw conclusions so let me click add a criterion and there it is right down below I'll just go ahead and add one final criterion for uh, evaluation and conclusions and I won't, I won't enter a description right now. OK, I'm almost ready to go. The last thing I want to do is edit the weights because the data analysis is a bigger portion. It composes maybe twice as much as any other category. So let me click Edit Weights. And what I'm going to do, I have to make sure all of my weights add to 100. So I would like this to have a weight of 1, 1, 1, two and one. But my problem is my total weights don't add to 100. So what I can do then is I can calculate what are these percentages. Well, this counts for one out of a total of one, two, three, four, five, six. So one out of six. Let me get out my calculator. One divided by six rounds to 17%. So I'm going to make this 17. This is also 1 out of 6, so that's 17. This is 17. This is 17. And if I clear out the 2, and then I click away, I can see how much weight I'm missing to get up to 100. I'm missing 32%. So let me put that here. Then I click Save. When you are finished, this has all been automatically saved. There's nothing you have to do. 
uh, to save your to save your work. If you click on Manage Rubric, you can see that you could save this as and create a duplicate. You could share this, or what I want to do right now is make it active so I can use it for one of my class assignments. So let me click on Make Active. It is now active, and it's as easy as that. In the next video, we'll see how to attach this to an assignment and how to grade using the rubric. Thanks for watching.